Okay, pizza review time. Giovanni's, the big cheese, the big cheese. And it says super premium tavern style, um, which is what I like. And it's got a customer testimonial. This is like when you get a movie testimonial. It's just from a random schmo. Um, I just wanted to write and tell you that you have hands down the best frozen pizza I've ever had. I've had just about every brand out there. It reminds me of the takeaway pizza my father would bring home on Friday nights back in the early 70s when I was a child. Thanks. Al. How about the big cheese just making up a testimonial and putting on the front? Al. Okay, Al. Well, guess what? I have had every brand out there, Al and Giovanni's, so I'll give you a fair review. Also, I did the research because I'm a research guy. I got the glasses on. I look very intellectual. By the way, the feel is great if you want them. I look very intellectual. It's a Minnesota company, so it's a wholesaler. So I guess if you're like a supermarket or a store, you can go and sell Giovanni's. I don't know that you can go to Giovanni's directly. So this is like a mom and pop. We'll see. If I give this a great review, you probably want to pick up the phone and say, hey, Giovanni slash Al, um, air quotes, we want to sell you pizza. So we'll see what we got. Uh, Giovanni's Pizza, super premium tavern style. Oh, kind of works. The purple with Minnesota because the Vikings, because their helmets look like candy because I wanted to eat them because of uh, Chris Carter slash, uh, not Chris Carter, who's uh, Carter, Anthony Carter. See, I got all the names. All right, pizza review time. We got uh, Giovanni's coming in hot from Minnesota. Looks pretty good, pretty basic. They, whoa, a little slip slide. Now, before I do this, I, I, I got a I gotta flashback to the unboxing. I got a gift, and, I, and it's like for a poker room or something, and, and it just basically said, fuck. It took me a while to figure it out. It's like, all right, fuck, well, I guess, whatever. Let me show you it. Because I, I got to give him credit here. Yeah, and I'm a purple mamba. I'm a purple mamba. La, 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 mamba. Um, what's that song, Mamba Number 5? By, like, uh, the Mumbo guys. Anyways, so this is it. See, it says fuck. Can you see it? it see how it says fuck? Can you see it? Is it the right way? Like, F U. C-K. I'm like, all right, that's kind of weird. Fuck, all right, fine. It's all jacks. I didn't put it together in the unboxing. I, at my brain, just couldn't comprehend it. So what this is, fuck jacks. What is fuck jacks, you ask? I don't want to say it because I'm done talking about jacks. It's that fucking shit-ass, floppy dick, limp dick pizza that I tried. Um, no disrespect. All right. Very good gift, fuck Jax. I, I'm done talking about it, but I had to mention that. No disrespect to Jax. That's their problem. Uh, one bite, everybody knows the rules. Giovanni's, Minnesota. Chris Dolman. Leonard Mar he's running the wrong way. by Jeff Marshall is running the wrong way. Marshall is running the wrong way. I'm a big Minnesota guy. Everyone knows that. I actually would say... There's a chance Minnesota is my number two state in the union. Massachusetts one, Minnesota maybe two. I got to go to Lake Minnewapaka one time for the summer. The problem is I'm a Nantucket guy. So do you see? Do you see the issue? Uh, one bite ever in is the rules. Giovanni's. And again, I, I, I think this is distributor. So you got to be a store. You can't order this direct. But if you're a local store, if, if you have store owners, managers, Corona clothes, sell pizza, one plus one equals four sometimes. All right, let's see what we got. It's got a little break there. Giovanni's, Minnesota, Lake Winnipotonga. What is the pizza I love there? Black rabbit, black something. Black sheep, coal-fired pizza. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. If I'm walking down the street, I'm not going to like, and this pizza's walking past me, I'm not going to turn back and like check out her ass. It's not that good. I'll see, make eye contact. I'm like, oh, cute, but I'm not going to turn around. It's right up there. This is like the most traditional frozen pizza maybe ever. Um, four nine.
four nine. That's like a very middle of the road. And I know my pizza scales all over the frozen pizza scales all over the map, and it really is. And I have no explanation for it. Four nine is a very basic traditional frozen pizza. The problem is we're getting delivery pizzas. We're getting frozen pizzas that are made by like places and already cooked and sent. We're getting, uh, you know, places that specialize in just having frozen pizzas. And then we're having the frozen pizzas that come in the boxes in the supermarket that have been frozen forever and are mass uh, manufactured like this one. So the, everything's all over the map. Four nine basically means to me, it's a very good to average, average to good frozen pizza that you should be able to find widespread. Does that make any sense? Uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know. That's a review, Giovanni's.